Kula here. Uh, today for you guys, I have kind of a medium-sized haul. Uh, I kind of started out just with the intent to go to Ulta, uh, but as you can see, I kind of ended up exploring my mall. Um, I also want to apologize if you hear any background noise, any thumping or anything, there's like a party going outside of my patio right now. It's finally been some nice weather, so people are enjoying it. I don't blame them. Um, but it might get kind of loud, so I do apologize if you hear anything. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I kind of hit up some stores. I actually bought some more stuff, but these are kind of the things I wanted to show you guys. Uh, so let's just start with Alta, which is kind of where I intended to go in the first place. Um, the reason why I wanted to go to Alta was for two nail polishes, actually. Um, OPI came out with a polish called Significant Other Color, and it's like a duochrome and I really wanted to get that, and then um, they recently also came out with like their Bond Girls Liquid Sand line. I don't have any Liquid Sand polishes, but I do have uh, a Julep Sea Salt, which is kind of a similar texture. It's just the OPI polishes have sparkles in them. And um, so in the Bond Girls, they actually have a nail polish for Pussy Galore. Uh, so I also kind of just wanted to own a nail polish with the color Pussy Galore because I thought that was amusing. It is a very pretty color though too. Um, so unfortunately when I went there they were sold out of both colors since everyone wants significant other color and Pussy Galore I guess is basically like the most popular nail polish ever. Um, they can't keep it in stock but what they did have is they did have this little mini like four set um, I used to be really big about buying mini nail polishes because I never used a lot of nail polish, but now I'm finding I like the bigger bottles better, so I was kind of sad I had to get just these four, like the four mini ones, but as you can see, that is Pussy Galore right there, it's a very pretty pale pink, and this one also has Jinx, uh, Vesper, and Solitaire, and on the back it kind of describes what the colors are, so I can kind of show you there. So yeah, as you can see, it's just it's this really pretty pink color. Um, I have used it. I did try it out. I don't have swatches of these. I just didn't swatch them. I'm sorry. To be honest, I almost prefer Julep's Sea Salt Polish over the Liquid Sand. It might just be this color is so light. But even after two coats, like the, the texture and the glitter wasn't even on my nail. So it looked messy and it almost looked like I'd messed up and touched it and smeared it. So I don't know if it's just that light color, if I need to do three coats. I did follow the directions, oh, you're not supposed to do a top coat. Uh, you're supposed to apply two coats of color, so I did a base and I had two coats of the color, but that wasn't enough, uh, unfortunately. But it is a very pretty color and I am glad to get the other colors as well to try them out, especially Jinx. I'm actually really intrigued by this corally, like reddish gold sparkly color. So there was that. And then um, I decided to, while I was Ulta, I would just pick up another spare of my uh, Holy Grail conditioner, which is Wee Dodds Balancing Rinse right here. Um, I've used so many different conditioners, even from this own line. Like, I've used pretty much all the conditioners in Wee Dodds line. And this one is just the only one that really consistently works for me. I used to buy it at Sephora. Sephora doesn't carry it anymore. It's on their website. It's always out of stock. I think I've set up to email me when it comes back in stock and I've never gotten an email and the only place I've ever consistently found it was Ulta. Uh, so that was my trip to Ulta. So then I went to my mall and in my mall we have a regular Sephora and then there's you know the Sephora and the JCPenney and when that initially opened up I thought it was kind of silly because they're basically like down the hall from each other. It's like why do you need two Sephoras? But I kind of like that there's both of them because I like to go to the Sephora and JCPenney because they tend to have a bigger sale section and they actually tend to have more things and different things in their sales section than the Sephora store and then if there's something sold out at the big Sephora a lot of times I can find it at the JCPenney store which is nice because I really like to use the Sephora by OPI nail polish remover because I like the smell, I like that it smells like licorice and it takes off polish really well, but it is always sold out at my regular Sephora, but I can always find it at the JCPenney Sephora. So I like having both, as sad as that sounds. 
Um, so I went to the JCPenney Sephora and they had a whole bunch of nail polish on sale because I need more nail polish. Um, and the lady there, she wrapped everything up really nicely. I've never had as nice of a cashier as I've had at the Sephora and JCPenney. I don't know why, um, but she just, she really took her time, she really cared. And then, um, she also noticed that I hadn't received my welcome pack yet for becoming a VIB again. Uh, so she gave that to me, which kind of leads into what's in this bag here, so I kind of wait to talk about that. Uh, but like I said, like, all of this stuff was on, like, super sale. So let's just see. I paid less than $13 for all this nail polish I'm about to show you, so it's pretty exciting. Um, so the first thing here is this little, like, sparkly trio of nail polish from Nails Inc. Um, I see the colors in this are, does it say? Royal Opera Arcade, Stratford, and Abbey Road. And they're, they're all glitters. Yeah, they're all glitters. That there's that there. Uh, to be honest, this is probably my least favorite brand of high-end nail polish. Um, when I first started getting into nail polish, I was looking for more neutral colors because I, I, I haven't really ever worn nail polish before and I thought neutrals would be easier to wear. Now I like brighter colors. Um, but one of the first high-end nail polishes I bought was a 3-set by Nails Inc. And it had, um, I don't remember it, there was a pink glitter called Chelsea Rose, their caviar top coat, and then a dove gray color whose name I don't remember. The cons I don't know if it was an old pack, but I, I paid full price for it, so it was like $17 for those three polishes. And I just, the consistency wasn't very nice, the top coat, I, I didn't like the top coat, it was almost kind of gloopy, and it didn't, it didn't dry well, like even now, like I don't use it, it just kind of sits on my dresser. And then the glitter dried out so fast, like I, I can't use it anymore. Um, but like I said, these are on super sale, I think this box was like $4 for these three polishes, so I figured why not. And then, let's see this one. This is Dance Till Fun. Uh, this is a Sephora by OPI Color. This was two bucks. I mean, I'm not gonna pass up nine dollar ball of nail polish. I can give for two dollars. It's kind of like a mid taupey kind of gray. I could see why they call it Fun. There's, it's like a brownish taupey gray color. And then this one, another Nails Ink. Uh, this is Stratford. So this one is in that little three pack, um, but this was like two bucks. So I figured when I get a full bottle, and then when I was buying these, I made sure that I got the ones that had you could hear that because some of them you couldn't. So I'm kind of assuming some might be more dried out than others. Uh, but there's this. This looks like a really nice, really nice gold color. I do really, I did really want a gold color because I don't have any. And the next one I got. This is another Sephora by OPI. This one's called Why Yellow There. It's like not quite a pastel banana cream, but it's it's kind of a true banana color. Um, I think this color might be a little bit more difficult to wear, but I was thinking paired with that kind of fawny taupe that might make a cool like you know color blocked French tip or something. I don't know. It was two dollars. Why not? And then the last one I got. It's another Nails Ink one. This is another Mirror Metallic. This one's a purple. And this is Cheyenne Walk? I'll just put that there. I can't pronounce things. So there's that color. This one is another one that I made sure to, that you could hear the little ball when you shook it. Because some of them you couldn't. But this is also like two bucks. So I thought that was really pretty. Um, so yeah, I got, you know, four full sizes and that little three pack for less than $13. Can't go wrong with that. Um, so then I went to my big Sephora and then kind of splurged a little. Uh, when I first went there, I just kind of hit up the sale section. Where is it? There it is. And I discovered that they have the Hello Kitty nail polishes there. I didn't realize they had these in the store on sale. Like, I have been seeking these online like I almost have all of them and I almost did have all of them but when I bought one it came to me all dried up and gross so I had to return it 
and I didn't realize that they had these in the store. So now I basically have all of like all of this original series because they came out with another one that went on sale right away. It's like their Tokyo Pop one, so they're more neon colors. Uh, but this collection, um, I'm only missing the uh, purple sprinkles and the ice cube one, which is clear, so I'm not going to get the clear one. But this is Frosted Cupcake. So it's like a shimmery, I don't know if you can see this shimmer, but it's like a shimmery pink. And the bottles are just super cute. Um, that's kind of the biggest reason why I want them. But the color is actually really nice, too. Like, I've used all of them. And, I mean, it, 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 it's quality nail polish. I mean, it's worth the 4 or $5. This one I paid 4 for. I paid 5 for the ones online. And I, I guess I do, I just really regret not looking for them in my Sephora because they weren't actually in the sale section. They were still in the Hello Kitty section and they were just on sale. So I got that. Uh, and then what had happened is, so I've, I, I really want to try a Clarisonic, uh, but it is really expensive and I've never spent that much money at one time on one makeup item. And it's not even really makeup skincare. And I told myself, next time I get a 10% off coupon, I'm going to buy one. What had happened is when I had bought the nail polish at JCPenney and the lady had noticed that I didn't get my VIB welcome pack, there was a 10% coupon in there. So I said, you know, I told myself this is what I was going to do. Uh, so I did. And I bought a Clarisonic Mia 2 in the color berry. Um, I've, I've been using this for not a whole week because I couldn't use it over the weekend because we were traveling. Um, but it's the very first time I used it, it, it was a sensation that I was not expecting. Like it, it's, it doesn't feel bad. It feels good, but it just feels weird. Like it's like your skin is vibrating and it just, I don't know. Uh, but I really like it. I really like using it. Um, I was debating between... I wanted to get a Mia, uh, but then they had the skincare lady that came and kind of explained how it worked. Because like one of the reasons why I was putting off getting a Clarisonic besides price was that I didn't know if you could use your own cleansers with it or if you had to buy specific cleansers that they were like Clarisonic. Uh, but as long as it doesn't have a physical exfoliant in it, you can use it with this product, which is great. Which is... Because um, I use... A different brand that I really like that I wanted to keep using because I have really sensitive skin. Uh, but I talked to the skincare lady and she explained everything about it to me and I was gonna get a Mia uh, but then I just figured I had the 10% off coupon and it was like $30 more I think to get the Mia 2 and it has the two speeds it has the the one minute tea timer which is really helpful um, but it does kind of have a downside and then the travel case is kind of what sold me out the most because that was kind of important to me. Um, I don't have it in here right now because I use it and it's sitting in my bedroom. I don't want to go get it. Uh, but it's really cool. Like the charger is really cool. Like this just kind of attaches magnetically to the base and that charges it, which I think is really neat. Um, and you can see this is the travel case it comes with. It's just this really nice silicon case. And you just pop it in there. Um. But yeah, I'm really in, I'm liking it so far. I haven't noticed drastic improvement yet. Um, I've only been using it for a week though. Uh, and, you know, I don't know if maybe I should change the rest of my skincare routine because I have been questioning it a little bit. Um, but so far, I've been happy with it. You do get the 90 day. Where is it on here? Uh, there it is. There's like a money back guarantee that if you don't like it, which is nice. I did also want to get a blue one. I believe the color is called Sea Breeze. They didn't have it in stock. They just had like this berry. They had a light pink, a white, a black, a forest green, and a lime green. Uh, but this is a good color. I thought this color was cute. Um, so yeah, I was really excited to get that. Um, you know, the whole... They did that whole thing in the store where someone buys something expensive and then everyone's like, ooh, you're buying a Clarisonic to, you know, hype you up about it, which was nice. It was kind of nice to get attention. Uh, so I got that, and then I figured I'd restock on some of my other skincare products while I was there because they had this in the store. Um, they do sell all this stuff a lot. This stuff sells out pretty fast. Um, so this is kind of the Fab Daily Dose kit. Um, it has the face clean, facial cleanser and the facial radiance pads. 
This is, I go through really fast because you only get 60, so that's a couple months. But like the face cleaner and like the other products, they do last a long time. Um, and this one actually comes with little samples of the eye cream, the power serum, and the face cream. And the funny thing is, it's actually cheaper to buy this set than it is to buy these two separately. Like it's $2 cheaper to buy them in this set. And they're both full size. Then I just buy them separately, so I figured why not, I'll just get both, like I'm going to need both, I need the facial radiance pads soon, and I'm going to need the face cleaner soon anyways. Also I got that. Um, this is the cleanser I really wanted to keep using, and I want to make sure it would work with the Clarisonic. I have very sensitive skin, and this is one of the only things that does not upset my skin. Um, the radiance pads, I have been, I've been using them you know, consistently for a while now. But I don't know how much they do for me, for how expensive they are, so I think maybe this might be my last jar of them, and I'm going to switch to some to, uh, some other kind of toner. I'm almost thinking of just switching to straight witch hazel, but I'm going to have to look a little bit more into it. But like I said, like I love this brand, I love all their products, they're, you know, they're non-irritating, they're made for sensitive skin, they feel really great on your skin, and I'm actually really excited to try some of these because these are the kind of the more expensive higher end ones. Uh, so that is what I got at my big Sephora. And then um, what had happened, I actually re-qualified for VIB with this purchase. So I got another 10% off coupon. So hooray. Uh, the only thing that I kind of re regret not doing was, you know, they had that promotion going on right now, I believe till May 19th, where if you buy any fragrance, you get triple points. And triple points on that purchase would have been pretty nice. Um, but I just didn't want to spend the extra $25, you know, 10, not 10, like 15 to $25 just to get like a rollerball to get triple points. So I actually might, there's a set online that I might actually get just to get triple points on something else. Um, but anyway, so the last place that I went to that I want to show you guys is Bath and Body Works. Uh, I've kind of decided I need to start carrying on some antibacterial hand soap now that I have a lot of lotions that I found to be really effective for my dry hands, which is one of the reasons why I avoided hand sanitizers for so long. It'd be nice to have because I am kind of a germaphobe and this way I always have a way to wash my hands. Uh, and then they had a five little tiny these mini antibacterials for five dollars, which isn't that big of a savings, but I got suckered into it. So I kind of just grabbed five cents that I thought would appeal to me. I didn't even try these in the store. Um, so I got the Japanese Cherry Blossom, which is a classic Bath & Body Works fragrance. I got the Bella Flora, which is like an Italian collection. And I've noticed Italians kind of become a trend right now. Um, I know Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret are owned by the same people, but in Victoria's Secret right now, like a lot of their underwear is like Italian printed. And I know like a lot of Italian food is getting popular, so I don't know if it's been like a fad going on. But, and then I got Caribbean Escape, and I got Fresh Lavender, because lavender is always soothing. And then I got Warm Sugar Vanilla, which is, I think, is this the top, it's either like Japanese Cherry Blossom or Warm Vanilla Sugar, which is the top seller, but this is definitely in the top five. And then, because I want to carry these around with me, I just got one of these guys to attach to my bag. Um, they actually had some really expensive ones. They had like some six dollar ones that had like like a cat on it and stuff which was really cute but I didn't want to spend six dollars on something to hold my antibacterial gel. Uh, so that is it. That is uh, my whole haul that I wanted to show you guys. Sorry this got kind of long. Sorry I kind of got chatty Um, but you know I, I got the things I intended to buy and then I got more things. So yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching.